Hello guys, in this video you will learn 16 important Windows key keyboard shortcuts that will make your work easy and fast in Windows. First we will start with the easy one like how to open file explorer, then how to quickly minimize all windows if someone comes. Then we will move to advanced ones like how to split the screen in two, one window on the half left side and another window on the half right side. How to take screenshots, some fun shortcuts like how to type emojis and a lot more. So without any further ado, let's get started. The first one is extremely easy and you might know it. Press and hold the windows key and then press E key. And it will open the file explorer. That's an easy one. The second one is extremely important for me because it saves my life a lot of time. A lot of time it happened that someone comes and I don't want to show him what I'm doing. So what I do is that I press the windows key and I press the D key. It hides all the open windows and it shows me the desktop. And when that person goes, I just simply press windows and D again and it opens all the previous windows. So it saves my life a lot of time. I hope it will save your life too. The third one is windows plus tab key. When you press windows plus tab key, it opens all the tabs or you can say the multiple instances of your open windows. Simply with your keyboard, select the one that you want and click enter and it will pop up. See how easy it is. Next one, save full screen screenshot. Simply press and hold the windows key and then press the print screen key on your keyboard. And now, if you go into your pictures folder, you will see the screenshot of your full screen. Next keyboard shortcut, press and hold the windows key, shift key and the S key. And it will bring back a menu in front of you. This is called snip and sketch tool. With the help of this tool, you can simply take a rectangle, an area, screenshot or a window screenshot or a full screenshot or even a freeform screenshot. Let's take a simply an area screenshot. I want this image uh, so I will just take it like this. And now you can see its screenshot appears here too. Or if you want to take a custom shape, you can also take it again, press windows, shift and S. Simply change it to freeform and then you can take it whatever you want. You can see another one. I have a complete tutorial on it. You can see its link in the description and you can learn it from there. Next keyboard shortcut. Snap the active window to the left side of the screen. Press and hold the window key and then press the left arrow key on the keyboard. It will simply snap the active window to the left side, then release your keys and then it will give you the second option whichever you want on the right side. Let's say I want the screenshots on the right side, so I will press enter here and it will snap on the right side. So I use it a lot. It saves a lot of time when I want to work on two windows. I don't need to manually do it with the mouse. Now, let's say you want the active window to be on the right side for that. It's very simple. You have to press and hold the window key and then press the right arrow key on the keyboard. It will snap it to the right side and then release the keys. And again, it's up to you, whichever you want on the left side. Next key, maximize the active window. Let's say I'm on this window and I want it to be on the full screen. So what I have to do is that I have to simply press the window key and press the up arrow key and it will come up like this. Next shortcut, minimize the active window and restore it if it is maximized. So what it do? Simply on your active window, press and hold the window key and press the down arrow key. If you press it once, then it will just restore it to its original size. But if you press it again, the down arrow key while holding the window key, it will minimize it. So for maximizing, you have to press and hold the window key and press the up arrow key. 
and for minimizing it, simply the down arrow key. Next keyboard shortcut, maximize the active windows vertically while maintaining the width. To do this, simply press and hold the windows key, shift key and the up arrow key. Now you can see that it has been maximized vertically in the height but not horizontally in the width. So remember, if you press windows, shift and up arrow key, it will only maximize in the height. But if you press windows and simply the up arrow key, it will maximize to the full screen. So that's the difference between these two things. And I really use it a lot. Okay guys, now this keyboard shortcut is extremely important and it helps me a lot. Let's say I'm working on something and I want to copy multiple things. So what normally we do is that we simply click here like this, press Ctrl C on the keyboard and then Ctrl V here. Now guys, I know that I have to copy some other things from it too. Let's say I want to copy this sentence. So again, what I have to do, I have to do Ctrl C and I have to do Ctrl V. Then I want to copy this one. So again, I have to copy like this and paste it here. So I have to paste these things on a notepad or somewhere so that they don't get lost because if I press, whenever I press control V, you can see that I'm only getting the last one. The previous two ones are ignored. So there is a way to overcome this. What you have to do is that you have to simply press windows plus V key. When you press windows plus key plus V key, it will open this menu, the clipboard history. Now, if you are opening it first time, then definitely it's off. So you have to turn on this thing. And now we have to first time we have to clear it all. Now again, just delete everything like this. Now I even don't need a notepad if you have this thing turned on. Again, come up like this and start copying your things. So this one, control C. Then again, I will come down and I will copy the sentence. Second one, control C. And then I will again come here and I will copy the third one, control C. Now, if I press windows V, you can see that all of these three are copied here. The first one, the second one and the third one. So that's the benefit of using your clipboard history. And now I can paste them whenever I want or wherever I want. So if I just come here like this and I just press window V again, you can see it is over here. So I can simply click here. It is pasted over here. If I again press windows V, you can see it's here and it's here like this. So it can simply remember all of your previous selections or whichever, whatever you have copied. Even if I copy an image, let's see, can it remember it? Windows V? Yes, it can even remember your images that you have copied. Next one. Let's say you want emojis in your document. For that, you simply need to press Windows key and the period key. And you will get your emojis. Let's say I just simply click here and I press the Windows and the period key that is full stop on your keyboard and you can see the emojis here. Next shortcut key is Windows L. It is used to lock the windows and you can also use it to switch to other accounts. Now guys, the 14th, 15th and the 16th shortcut key belongs to the magnifier and if you're doing something online or you want to show something big, then it is useful. So simply press the windows key and the plus key and it will magnify the screen and if you press and hold the windows key and the minus key it will again bring it back to its original size so windows plus is going to magnify it you can see it has been magnified 200 percent it has been magnified 300 percent and if you use windows and minus it will minimize it. and if you want to exit from this mode simply press windows and escape and the magnifier will be off i hope you guys 
you like this tutorial if you like it give it a like and subscribe to my channel share my videos keep creating guys bye bye